All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Pygame. And this is a new tutorial series on Pygame. So let's get started. So what is Pygame? Well, Pygame is a Python module that is used to create simple games. All right, so in order for us to use Pygame, we first must install it. So if you're on Windows, just go to your search bar and search up command prompt and open that up. And if you're on Mac or Linux, then just go to your terminal, which is the exact same thing. So over here, type in pip install Pygame and press enter. So there's other ways of doing this as well. So pip3 install pygame. So you see, I need to do something with my pip, but I already have pygame on my computer. So yeah, now that we've gotten pip onto our device, we can start working. All right, so now the first thing you wanna do is import pygame. And then just run this and you see nothing happens and that's exactly what you want because that tells you that you have Pygame successfully installed on your computer. See, look, it says hello from the Pygame community. So yeah, that's the message you wanna see. If you don't have that, try fixing it and just try rewatching it and look at the error messages and Google up those error messages so you can get some hints into why it may not be working. Also, Pygame is easiest to use if you have Python version 3.7 or higher. And a way to check that is to open up command prompt again. And in command prompt, just typing py. And you see, I have Python 3.8.2. So Pygame is good for me to use. So the first thing we have to do whenever we're using Pygame is to make the main surface. And this is kind of like in Turtle, if you've seen my previous um, videos. So in Turtle, all the commands and everything, the output is displayed on a tiny little window and that's where, every, and that's where everything runs. And the same thing is what happens with Pygame. All right. So now let's go and create our surface. So the first thing we have to do is all caps with comma height equals, let's keep it small. Let's say 320 and 240. All right, and now below that, let's do in lowercase normal window equals pygame dot display dot set underscore mode so you have one parenthesis and inside that you have another pair of parentheses and you do with comma height and this just creates our screen. So boom, like we just initialized our screen. So all your main code that checks for events and handles everything should be inside a function. So let's call, let's create a function and I'll call it def, def mc for def main code. Now let's create a while loop so our so that our surface doesn't just open and randomly close because it's kind of hard to see and then our game doesn't run. So I'll create a variable, I'll call this running and I'll set it equal to true. And below that I'll do while running and you have to type out this code for event in pygame dot event dot get parentheses 
and here you put in another colon and inside of here is where you check for all the different events that are running in your code so like in in games right so let's say like a first person shooter game like you're looking for the event where the person shoots you're looking for the event where the person jumps where the person moves left and right and stuff like that so over here is where you check for all of those events okay so it's standard practice that the first event that you check is always to see if you have quit the game window kind of like it's standard practice to not name variable names uh uppercase or start them with uppercase i started with and height with uppercase because those are constants and it's standard practice to keep constants in uppercase so now we're doing if event dot type equals pi game dot quit in all caps and events are described like this pi game dot event name and then so if that happens we set run to we set run to false so run is now false and then you know it checks this and the while loop ends and then the window closes and then over here in the very end at the end of the while loop we just do pi game dot quit and this ends our window and and this is just in the end like when everything is over so as of right now it will see this and then it will terminate nothing else is gonna happen and I think I will stop over here in this video's tutorial so now you have a basic understanding of pi game and in the next video we're gonna go in a little deeper well that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time peace